Yo, right, guys, this is Game Boy Luke here, your coach of the Bristol City Blades Kings, and we are here today for another UCL LC off-season battle against Mega Mogwai for the second time. We are going through uh, the bracket. We play each person twice, and I think considering we beat or we played against three people uh, in our bracket or on our pool, we're now facing Mogwai for the second time. And as you all know, I'm not doing incredibly well in this off-season. I don't know if it's because it's LC or if it's uh, just because I am unlucky. I mean, we've had some ups and downs. Um, and I am really, really nervous to play Mogwai again because we got we came so close in the last battle. I'll probably leave that in the description as well because it was super, super close. Um, and I was really, really upset that we lost actually. And hopefully in this battle, maybe we can do the same thing, but actually win it. That would be really good if we could actually win a <laughs> win a battle. And of course, I'm at Shady's house still. Um, and this will probably be the last battle you see that's actually recorded at Shady's ba at Shady's house. But I'm just gonna go into it. We are bringing uh, the. We are bringing the my phone ready to take a picture of his team. Um, I'm bringing some Pokemon we haven't actually played with yet. We're bringing Sombrero the Oddish. We have Timmy the Bumblebee. We have Ballin the uh, Voltorb. We have Fraga the Crogunk, Macbeak the Torchic, and Mar XOXO the Cofita. He is bringing two, three. Oh, okay. I was gonna say Azura was a Water type, but it's not actually a Water type, so I can't say it is because Azura is normal, normal fairy, I think. Um, but he's bringing Pumpkaboo, Whalmer, Froakie. Snova, Azrael, and Pancham. Now, I, I'm bringing a similar team to what I brought last time, but I'm actually bringing Sombrero and Bolin this time, so I didn't bring Snivy, and I think I brought... Was it Horsey last time I did this? I don't remember. But it's good that he's brought two water types, and I brought Voltorb. That's really, really good. Um, I'm trying to think trying to think what kind of lead he's going to go off with. Uh, I feel like Froakie might be a good idea. Um, I don't really know what Azrael wants to do to me, because I think isn't Azrael like, a really, really terrible Pokemon? Let me go ahead and take a picture of the team before I forget to do that, because I'm really good at forgetting of doing that. So, we have 45 seconds. Um, now, I think Timmy might be a good idea, because I can just go in and U-turn into someone that can take a hit. Um, I could potentially, with uh, Sombrero, I'm almost free to just go for whatever I want at that point, because I do have HP Fire, and that should take down the Obama, the, um, the Snowbro in one hit. Uh, actually, I think Sombrero might be a good idea. I'm going to lead off with Sombrero. I'm going to do it, or I maybe could potentially... No, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna leave with Sombrero. I have Torchic with me again, um, but it does have HP Electric, so I can potentially do some shenanigans with that. I'm actually gonna go with this Oddish, and I wanna see if a modest HP Fire is gonna be enough to take down the um, Snova. Now, it actually makes me incredibly nervous. I have a funny feeling it won't. HP Fire, uh, if I have like 252 in. It, oh, it has like. Oh my good, that's, that's not fair. It almost takes- it, it doesn't guarantee, it's a roll. It's a really low roll. He brings up Poe, which is this dude. Now what does- what does this guy get? What does Pancham get? What does Pancham get? That's my question. Okay, 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 so it doesn't get- I mean, it can get a Dark-type move. Which would definitely do some damage. Can it get Ice Punch? It can get Ice Punch. Um, I'm not sure if I want to stay in and take that. Uh, at the same time, I could probably take it, actually, and just go for a sleep powder, because I'm pretty sure I put Eevee Light on this thing. I did put Eevee Light on this thing, so uh, can I take an Ice Punch? Can I take an Ice Punch? Pen, Pen, Cham. LC Wall Breaker, it might have Gunk Shot. If it, has, if it runs Ice Punch, then it's gonna do Kill Me. <laughs> um, did we run that? That's the question. I kind of just want to hit it really, really hard. HP Fire is going to do that. Sludge Bomb is going to do sort of like f almost half damage. I could get away with going for Sleep Powder um, and do some really mean damage to it. But if, if he's going to go for, say, Gunk Shot or if he's going to go for an Ice Punch, my switchings aren't even that great. So I, I think I'm going to stay in. I do oh, I have so much presence with this with this Oddish. But I'm just going to stay in. I'm going to go for Sleep Powder. He could predict that and go to Snova. He... I missed the Sleep Powder and he learns Zen Headbutt. So he's able to land the Zen Headbutt. That's probably going to kill me. I don't know. I survived it. Do I want to try again? Do I want to try again? I could potentially switch out and maybe try and go into Cotheta. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be fast. How fast is Sombrero? He has base. We have 12 speed right now, which is faster than this guy. And Cotheta has 11, so that might potentially be a speed tie. Uh, can it get much worse than this? I could potentially see Powder and Miss again, uh, and that would suck. Although I feel like the smarter play for him would be to switch out into Snova right now. Um, I don't want him to predict me to switch into my thingy and go for a Dark-type move, because either way, he, he basically does damage to me. 
I could go into Frega as well, but that would... Ugh, I have to go for another Sleep Powder. I can't switch out. I can't risk it. I'm gonna stay in. I'm gonna go for another Sleep Powder. Um, I kind of wish I went for Sludge Bomb, because I have a funny feeling he's gonna go into the Snova. Because if obviously you can't powder Grass-type moves. Uh, Grass-type Pokemon, so... Oh, I can't really miss. Of course it would miss. Of course it would miss. I, I always ran Tangler, and it had Sleep Powder, and it always missed. I don't know why I, I tried my luck with Sleep Powder. It's not like it has a 3 and 4 chance of hitting. It has 3 quarters of a chance of hitting. 75% and I still miss it. <laughs> I must be like the luckiest. At least one of one of the unluckiest players. Like last last time we played, we played against Kristen. Um and we Oh, he's faster than me now? It must have been a speed tie. Must have been a speed tie. But he went for knockoff, so I definitely didn't want to switch out. Um, it's very unfortunate that I did miss that, um, but for this, so if he was a speed type, then he's definitely going to be faster than my Gothita. Um, I think the best thing I can do at this point is f go into Mark Beak, because I can go into this dude, I can protect, he might predict the protect and actually go into someone else. Um, I don't know how much HP Electric would do to like oh, his water type Pokemon, the Tom Pass. I'm gonna go to a life orb. I want my life orb set, and he's gonna have HP, hidden power, electric, um, and if we have, say, Froakie, 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 I hate HP electric to a Froakie. Is actually gonna kill? What? For real? Wow. Okay. So HP electric. What about Whalmer? Okay, hey, like, that's in that's insane. I could either protect, uh, I can protect him, maybe protect him. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I want to hit, I want to baton pass. I want a baton pass, so if he switch, I can get switch initiative, like super bad. But at the same time, who would we switch? Would, who would he switch into? Because my torture pretty much dicks this whole team. So I can either protect or I can fire blast. Um, let me check. What's my speed? What's my speed? What's my speed? What's my speed? I'm 14 speed, so I'm faster than this guy. I am faster than this guy. I can fire blast anything. I'm gonna fire blast. He stays in, I go for the fire blast. That doesn't kill it, okay, that's fine. And he's gonna go for a knockoff? A drain punch. I should have protected. One hit point! How much is that gonna heal? Oh my goodness. So I got the speed boost right here. And he's going for drain punches. Uh, he will more than likely, 100%, go for a knockoff this turn. I'm gonna protect now. I actually honestly thought he's gonna switch out. He's gonna switch out. Should have a Tom Pass. Why would you switch out now? And he goes into Bob, which is the Whalmer. I was like protect, and it fails. I get the extra speed boost. <sighs> okay. Um. Now we have Bob right here. Now I really want a Tom Pass into. I could quite easily baton pass into my Gothita, but taking a hit from this thing is kind of risky. Uh, I want to baton pass into my Frogger as well, because this is Whalmer out right now, and I get plus speed. Get pl if I can get plus two speed with with uh, with my Krogunk, that would be ace. Plus two speed with Krogunk would be really, really good. Um, but at the same time, it's very, very predictable, because I did the same sort of thing in our previous battle. Um... I do have special defense investments in this Gothita. So I could potentially switch into that and um, eat up some hits. Still pretty good. And if, I'm, if I've got investments, I'm like invested in. It's gonna do like 25%, but I can't risk the 25%. Um, I'm gonna go into Frogger. It's, it's so obvious. It's so obvious at this point, but I'm just gonna do it anyways. And he goes to Zen. He is running Zen. I knew it. I should have gone to Gothia. I knew it. <laughs> okay, so we're on one hit point. We're on one hit point right now. Again, by the way, just so you know, I have two Pokemon, one hit point. And we have 11 speed. And I feel like a Whalmer actually is probably gonna. Oh, we're plus two. We're plus two speed. What am I talking about? We're fine. Um. What will a crow gunk do with a drain punch? It's gonna do like 30% because it has Eevee Light. Now, do I want to stay in? Kind of. Kind of do, actually, because I have the, I have the, he doesn't have the smooch anymore. There's nothing on his team that has insane priority. I could stay in. I go for a knockoff and get rid of this. God 
damn it, Luke. Why am I so bad at this game? Hit him with a knockoff. Go on, do it. Doesn't do a great deal of damage. Get to cr that's, that was a crit. That was a crit. He goes to that mid. Miss? No? You don't wanna you don't wanna share some of the, the, the hacks? Okay, cool. Let's uh, let's <laughs> Okay. We can still do this, kind of, maybe, probably not. Let's go into a Voltor. We could quite easily go into Voltor. We can do some damage right here. I can Volt Switch. Um, maybe take this thing out. Let's see Voltor, let's see Voltor. If I run Volt Switch, it's gonna do 76%, but should kill it. That should kill it. So let's go into let's go into Voltor. Let's go into a little a little dude Voltor right here, balling. And we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna Volt Switch. And we're just gonna Take this, take care of this guy. If he wants to switch out, he can, because we can now get switch initiative. And he's going into Lil Obama, which is the snow over. Uh, snow warning. So I've, oh wow, he has snow warning. So I can't go into torch it right now. I actually can't go into torch it right now. Because snow warning is in effect. He's got rid of two of the Pokemon that I really need to take, take this dude out. Um, I mean, I can go into, oh, I'm pretty much screwed at this point. I can U-turn into Timmy, uh, and I put U-turn on Timmy, so I guess I can switch into him and just do some switch, switch sh shenanigans stuff. I'm gonna come out of this little guy, buff it in by the hail. That's why I didn't want to switch into Torchic, because I would have died. Um, so I literally can't bring him out. Now, this is a Snover. I'm assuming it's Eviolite, and this is a Bunnelby with Choice Scarf. Now, a U-turn does 86.9% at max. Return does a little bit less, so I'm actually just going to go for U-turn right here. There's no reason for me not to. Uh, he's actually going to withdraw, so I'm going to get some more Switch Initiative as he goes into Bob again. Which is actually not a bad thing. Him with a U-turn, that's going to do such good damage. Now, right here, um... I am gonna go into. What does he have on his team? I might. Yeah, I'm gonna go into. I'm gonna go into Goth Eater. And I am going to. I can potentially set up on this thing. I'm gonna Calm Mind. I have no health. I'm gonna. Should I, is it worth it? I don't think Calm Minding is worth it. I genuinely don't think Calm Minding is worth it. Because I Calm Mind, what do I do after that? He hits me with a move. Um, I could probably take a hit. Yeah, let's just do it. Screw it. Is there anything we have? I'm gonna call mine. He's gonna scold me. He's faster than me. Holy crap. Can't, uh, don't burn me. Cool. Calm mine. Boom. So now I wanted to do this so I could get a, a strong hit on the next move, on the next Pokemon that comes out. But, I have a funny feeling it's not even gonna make a difference. Because I'm not gonna be able to get a second hit off because I'm gonna be at such low health due to the scald and the I'm probably gonna get burned next turn and then there's hail damage too. I probably should have just gone with my gut and just not calm minded and just <sighs> Okay. It depends what he brings out next turn, to be fair. Because if he brings out the Um Pancham, that's gonna be fast than me and it'll just knock me off. Actually, so I probably shouldn't have I probably shouldn't have calm minded. And I just, uh, I just deleted this, the Snapchat. I just completely removed the Snapchat, so I have to remember what Pokemon he has now. Um, I've pretty much seen everything anyways, it's fine. Um, I'm gonna write that down. <laughs> I'm gonna write that down before I forget. Uh, oh, it was a speed tie, so I am actually gonna have a little bit of health to spare, which is great. Okay, so he has the Snova. We just killed the Whalmer, so he's not there anymore. Dilling's not there. Smoochum wasn't there. Meowth wasn't there, and Xiaomi wasn't there. So we got Froakie, Pumpkaboo, Snova, Pancham, and Azru. He goes into this guy. Um, now this thing's probably got a Dark type move, more than likely. Um, but at the same time, he's probably, he's probably protein. So I actually can't switch out because I can't lose anybody else. The only Pokemon I can use to kind of outspeed this guy is my. If he uses a dark type move next, uh, next turn I can go into Timmy and I can U-turn him. So I have to stay in. I can't do anything else. I'm a plus one. He's probably life orb, but am I gonna? Have a... I don't even know if I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna go Thunderbolt. He's gonna go for Dark Pulse. Is he U-turn me actually? Which I can't take. 
Because the protein and boosts and the dab. I have a bunch of special defense, just no physical defense. So we actually went for U-turn right there. And he's life orb. Okay. So... He then goes into his... Two spook for you. Which is this little dude. And the hail stops. Which is nice, because I can now go into Mark Beak and do my thing. The only issue is, I just realized it's probably got Shadow Sneak. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? I'm gonna protect. I just realized he has priority, he has Shadow Sneak. Reveal it. Use Shadow Sneak. Yup, Shadow Sneak. Completely forgot about that. I'm dumb. Can I get the speed boost? I'm gonna baton, baton pass, JK. There's no Shadow Sneak. I have to go into Timmy. I have to go into Timmy. I have to preserve this little dude. I have to preserve this little dude. I completely forgot. <laughs> I, or, I, I like how I remembered it as soon as I sent him out. He goes for Shadow Sneak. There we go. I nothing. Boom. Get out of here. Um, I have to go for U-Turn. I can't do anything else, actually. There's no option. I have to U-Turn right here. Boom! U-Turn. Ah! It does nothing. And I have to then go into little, little man balling. I have nothing else. I have nothing else to take this thing down. None of my Pokemon can kill this thing. Because I suck. And he goes to Trick Room. So now he's light lit. He's really fast. He's super quick. <laughs> okay, okay, real quick. Is Pumpkaboo physical or special? I think it's physical. Pump, pump, kaboo. Pump, kaboo. Pump, kaboo. Pump, kaboo. It is, indeed. It's, it's physical, and it learns a bunch of physical moves. It can learn what grass- what physical grass pipe moves would it get? I'm, I'm curious. Pump Kaboo. Pump Kaboo Super. LC's Trick Room. Bullet Seed! It gets Bullet Seed! Um, I'm dead. I'm basically dead right here, because I can't do anything. There's nothing I can do. I can't do anything. I'm dead. I have Mirror Coat. I wanted to use Mirror Coat, but yeah, this is this is a physical attack, not a special attack, so I can't do anything about that. I should have probably put HP Ice on this dude as he goes for Explosion. JK, I have a Focus Sash. That was a bit cheeky, my girl. That was really cheeky. Pump Kaboo Super. I was gonna Volt Switch you, JK. Okay, so, um, with Froakie, I'm probably, actually, this is actually a really big hindrance right now, because Voltorb is, like, the fastest. <laughs> this thing's gonna kill me. As a rule, it's gonna kill me. I need the Trick Room to go away, and then I can maybe return Sweeper's team, potentially, maybe, probably not. But, it's my only hope, so, I have to just stay in, and just let this thing kill me. As he goes for a return. I just lost the Pokemon to an Azuril. He picks up a kill. And he's Life Orb as well. <sighs> I have to stall out the um, thingy turns. The Trick Room turns. I have to stall out the Trick Room turns. I'm just going to go for another Protect. I have to stall them out. <laughs> as he goes for Substitute. Nice. Nice. Be boost. Bleep, 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 bleep. And trick room still in effect. I'm gonna go for another protect. Can I get double protect at least? I can get double protect. Good stuff. Bop. And he returns me. Alright then. Can the trick room be gone now? Maybe? Twisted dimensions return to normal. And yes, there it is. If I got that double protect, it would have been great because he would have had no substitute right now. He would have had no substitute right now. I actually think that the Panchan's probably got Mac Punch. I don't even know if he can get it, but I have a funny feeling he has it. So I'm just going to go for a turn from now on and just spam that button. Hit this. Boom. I'm not going to do anything because obviously he's in the substitute. And he goes for a double edge. That's going to kill me. That's going to kill me. This thing is just going to kill me. <laughs> oh my goodness. The Azuriel destroys me. Azuril is viable. Oh my god. Well, GG to Miguel. Clearly a talented battler. 4 me on the second battle. 
What else can I say? Uh, obviously, I am getting a little bit salty because we are losing, but at the same time, it's this this season is just for fun, and the, the saltness is just it's just I'm just dusting it off my shoulders. I did get incredibly unlucky. I, I missed the protect, which is you know it's just, which is fair. I missed the sleep powder right at the start of the game, which does suck. Um, and I hate to pick pick out little things, and be like, oh yeah, well this is the reason I lost. This is the reason I lost. All this unlucky stuff. But it just it just just keeps happening to me, especially after the last few battles we've had. It does suck indeed, but it's whatever. If you guys have enjoyed this battle, please do go ahead and click that like button down below. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you so much. Don't forget to don't forget to check out Mogwai's side, which will be linked in the description. Thank you all so much for watching once more, and I will see you guys next week, where we will probably end up losing again.